Mr. Waltz from Florida. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I find it uh, incredibly rich Mr. Swalwell is going to come to this committee and lecture us about how China penetrates our government. I think that's something <laughs> he may know a thing or two about, but let's, let's talk about how China has penetrated the highest levels uh, of this government, including this president and, and this White House, because I think the visual uh, is, is incredibly important. Um, Mr. Bobolinsky, Hunter Biden portrayed Chairman Yi, the chairman of CEFC, uh, to Jim Biden as a protege of Xi. Is that accurate? Not only is it accurate, and it wasn't just Hunter Biden, it was James Gillier, Rob Walker. I wouldn't have used the word protege. They just basically, you know. So you don't run China's largest state-owned energy company without being close to Chairman Correct. Xi. Correct. Right, fair enough. Uh, and by the mid-2000s, uh, Chairman Ye ran a, a business empire estimated, as much as you can estimate a Chinese state-owned enterprise, tens of billions, including... And from a national security standpoint, this is the, the critical piece here, including implementing China's Belt and Road Initiative, not just all over the world, right here in the United States. Is that accurate? A hundred percent. So CFC was effectively the shadow arm of the Chinese government deploying tens of billions of dollars around the world, very well documented. At its peak, I think it was doing $50 billion of revenue per year, one of the top five largest... Debt diplomacy, companies. where they are taking electrical grids, they are bribing officials, uh, they take as collateral, uh, not just grids, ports, airports, key infrastructure that the Chinese government could then leverage and use against... Uh, any country, but also here in the United States. I mean, that's how the Belt and Road Initiative works. Heck, I was just in the Armed Services Committee with the commander of Indo-PACOM, our Pacific Command, talking about how China is basically gobbling up uh, infrastructure around the world, including here. Uh, so by the, by the mid, what, 2015, 2016, Hunter Biden's developed a very lucrative business relationship. By 2017, Hunter Biden's forged such a partnership with Chairman Ye that he planned to share an office space with him and then just removed Vice President uh, Biden at the House of Sweden in Washington, D.C., correct? Correct. So here's what's interesting. And building on Chairman Fox's uh, questions, within days of him leaving the vice presidency, ostensibly for work performed, $3 million flows through these shell companies that we've depicted here. I mean, you could see how complicated this is, but the key piece is the flow to Hallie Biden, to Jim and Sarah Biden, to Hunter Biden and his various affiliates. And the kicker here, Mr. Chairman, is that we know Hunter is then complaining about Paying all his dad's bills. He's complaining to the other relatives saying, you freeloaders, I'm having to use all this money to pay the big guy's bills, house renovations and all kinds of things. Correct. Correct. I mean, and it's important for the American people to understand the three million dollars was three of 20 million dollars that the Bidens expected to be paid for the work in 2015 and 2016. Mr. Chairman, and that's not just my word. That is documented. That's all documented. Numerous. Bank records, text messages, emails. Mr. Chairman. Bob Menendez's wife can't get paid by the Egyptians and then provide that money over to pay Golbar Bob's uh, uh, Senator Menendez's bills. I can't have my daughter get paid by, I don't know, Kazakhstan, Russia and China and then pay my bills. Sure. Uh, and we know also that they had commingled funds with the vice president of the United States. When we talk about crimes, let's talk about the crimes. We know he perjured himself. That's a crime. We know he was acting as a foreign agent. And he was he registered under FARA? Was he registered as a foreign agent? Not that was I'm Hunter, aware of. Was his dad complicit in him acting as a foreign agent through meetings and dinners and what have you? That's 100, crime. A hundred percent. That's crime number two. He was clearly acting uh, in that capacity. We have the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. And we already have him, thanks to the work of this committee, for tax evasion. So... Mr. Chairman, there are multiple crimes that this committee has established ample evidence. We must move uh, to impeachment. We cannot allow this to stand. Uh, and I look forward to seeing those references to the Department of Justice's 
for this alone. This is a critical national security issue. The Chinese Communist Party call it the princelings. They don't go after the principle they want to influence. They go through the sun. And it is right out of their playbook. And they've done it at the highest levels of the